All right, welcome to Adobe Photoshop. And today we're gonna take a look at how to set complementary colors inside of Adobe Photoshop. Complementary colors can be very useful. And so what a complementary color is, is we have a color right here and the complement is the color that is on the opposite side of the color wheel. So if you have red, its complement is green. If you have yellow, its complement is purple. If you have blue, its complement is orange. Or if you have orange, its complement is blue. Now, this is great, but colors rarely show up to be exactly this color. So in a photo, we have a whole lot more shades or variations of blue. So if you wanna find the true complement of a specific blue color, you can do that inside of Adobe Photoshop. The first thing that you need to do is select your color. So we're gonna come over here to our foreground color, and then we're gonna come in here and select the blue that we want. Now you'll notice I'm using a sample size of an average of five by five pixels. So that means five pixels around the point that I clicked, it's averaging them, and that is how it's picking the color. So usually five by five or 11 by 11 works out good. So in this case, we'll just do five by five, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay. And you can see just like that is pick that color and we're good to go. Now what we need to do is bring up this extension and it's hidden and most people don't know it exists. And what is important about this video is that the extensions actually change. So I've done a video on this before, but they kind of changed the way it works. It's actually a lot more simplified and way easier to understand. So you're gonna come over here to window, go down to extensions, and then pick up Adobe Color Themes. And I'll just drag this over here so you can see it. So right now we have this color here and we wanna move this color over here. So it's the selected color. The way we do this is this button right here. It says set selected color from the active color. So this is the active color over here. And when I click this, you can see it has made that color over here, the active color over here. So then we need to tell it what we want it to do. Right here is a button and it is called color rule. This is gonna define what type of rule that we wanna use. In this case, we have monochromatic, triad, complementary color is what we want to pick. So we're going to select complementary color. And just like that, it's going to put the complement right next to it. So the complement of this blue is exactly this color. So if I select that, I can come over here to this button and it says, click to set active color. Now the first thing I want to do, I don't want to overwrite this because I might want to use that color. So I'm going to hit the little arrow and flop that so we get the color white and then I'm going to come click this button and just like that it sent this color over here which is exactly what we want. So the next thing we'll do is we'll come in here and we will get some type just so we can see how this works. We'll type in jellyfish and it's using that color that we've selected here in the foreground and we can apply that. And so just like that, we've got the complement of this blue that we selected over here. And that's what's really making this pop. These are colors that really work well together. I have this blue and then with text, we are using its complement. And we found that by using Adobe Color Themes. Hopefully that's been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe.